Sam Wallace's piece in the Telegram, uh, Telegraph talks about a couple of the contenders. And here's a headline. Liverpool add Nagelsmann and Amarim to the shortlist. I've been to Sporting, I've seen Amarim's team play and uh, uh, they are very attractive on the eye. He improves individual players. He's got a real connection with those players as well. Um, new Julian Nagelsmann, he, he was by a, a, uh, Bayern Munich head coach. He is now the Germany head coach. Mm. He will be out of contract at the end of the Euros. He could even be out of contract if, Liverpool, if Germany go out of the Euros earlier than expected. And Sam says that these are two of the managers they have up their sleeve if Bayern Munich's huge offer, and it is understood to be around about £20 million pounds, uh, for Alonso to go there from Bayer Leverkusen, were to fail. The, I must just point out a couple of publications in the German media today uh, and across the weekend suggesting that he does see Alonso Liverpool as a superior proposition rather than Bayern Munich uh, because of the uh, relationships that he's got with the club, with certain players, because of the young players coming through the academy as well. Just very quickly, Sam talks about a, a certain metric in terms of relating to the performance of all of the candidates on their shortlist in relation to the budgets that they have to kind of look at how much they've achieved. And these are the men in Sam's uh, pace that he says score highest. And I mean, Jonathan, you spoke about mm. just the kind of legacy that mm. Jurgen Klopp will leave behind from Xabi Alonso's perspective, say. Is this the kind of job that actually you might not want to take now because <laughs> do you want to be the guy that succeeds? I think Klopp? you're right. You don't want yeah. to be the transitional one. Yeah. You want to be the that's one. And, and and who? Why would you want to follow someone as as incredible as Klopp? No, that's 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 the exact dilemma for Xabi. And look, he's a very cerebral guy and and a very measured person. Remember interviewing him as a player, and knowing him when he arrived at Liverpool, and there's something different about him from the start. Really intelligent, he'll think through this decision. But it, it, he's, he's built such a fantastic career so quickly, and Real Madrid are, are also potentially in the frame somewhere down the line. From to have these choices so young um, is incredible. I suppose you don't turn these jobs down. I think that's the, that's yeah. the bottom line. When, speaking to people like David Moyes, who went to Manchester United, and Emery when he went to Arsenal, these guys came in to those jobs knowing they were going to be difficult but both had the sense that you don't turn this down. So I think if Liverpool's what Xabi Alonso really wants, you don't turn it down. But it's fascinating looking at Sam's piece there. I know they will look at the data. Will Spearman, Liverpool's director of research, will play a big role. Data helped bring in Jurgen Klopp to start with. And Amarim seems to score higher than Alonso in certain data, which is interesting. My fear for anyone else who isn't Xabi Alonso, is that the fans are now so excited about the prospect of Xabi yeah. that even a fabulous manager like Amarim, who's got charisma, might struggle initially by just not being Xabi. So a narrative's been created already that it's going to be Xabi. And if Liverpool go against that, um, they're going to have to sell, do a selling job to give the fans the reasons that they have done so.